The Matrice 4 series brings upgrades to the camera system, a new remote controller, an AI model, and a number of other improvements, which puts it in direct competition with the Matrice 30 series. These two are actually high-performance enterprise drones that offer cutting-edge capabilities suited for professional and commercial applications. But how do they differ, and which one to buy? So, today we're comparing these two powerful drones. We'll look at design, performance, and key features to help you decide which one fits your needs best. Let's get into it. Let's start with the design, as that's where some of the most noticeable differences show up. The Matrice 4T is built for power and precision. It is much lighter, with a takeoff weight of just 1,229 grams when using the low-noise propellers. That makes it feel more compact and easier to carry around. And that's really great if you're always on the move. And it's not too heavy either, which helps with quick setups and portability. The Matrice 30T, on the other hand, is a much heavier and more solid machine. It weighs around 4,069 grams at takeoff. It's clearly made for more demanding, rougher jobs, like flying in tough weather or handling large-scale inspections. You'll definitely notice the difference in size and weight when handling it. And its compact, energy-efficient design allows for longer flight times, giving you more time in the air without sacrificing strength. And as for remote controllers, both use the DJI RC Plus, but the 4T comes with the newer RC Plus 2, which brings a few improvements. In terms of image transmission, the 4T uses the upgraded DJI O4 Enterprise system, offering better range and stability, while the 30T runs on DJI O3 Enterprise. So if newer tech and portability matter to you, the 4T feels more modern and travel-friendly. Okay, time to check out what these two offer and how they perform. The M4T really kicks things up a notch in the imaging part. While it doesn't have an FPV camera like the M30T, but it makes up for it with better overall image quality. Its wide camera has a larger one by 1.3 inch sensor and a much higher 48 megapixel resolution, which means clearer, sharper images. It also adds a medium tele camera, something the M30T doesn't have so you get more flexibility with zooming in without losing clarity. Even the zoom camera on the M4T has a slightly larger sensor, which helps improve image quality in lower light. And it features advanced propulsion systems that handle strong winds with ease. And even in tough weather, it stays rock solid, making it a reliable choice for demanding tasks like mapping wide areas or carrying specialized payloads. If your work involves long-range missions or operating in open environments where stability is key, the Matrice 4T really delivers. Meanwhile, the M30T comes with its own FPV camera, which gives you a 1080p front-facing view, making flying and positioning a lot easier, especially in tricky situations. You also get a decent wide camera with a 1 by 2 inch sensor and 12 megapixel resolution, which handles everyday tasks pretty well. And if we talk about the zoom camera on the M30T, it's also solid, 48 megapixels with a 1 by 2 inch sensor and good for general visual inspections. Also for thermal imaging, it uses an uncooled Vox microbolometer, which is pretty standard and reliable for heat-based detection. Plus, it doesn't hold back on performance as well. In fact, it shines in urban or tight environments where agility and quick movements matter most, like flying between buildings or landing on narrow rooftops. Now, on top of that, the M4T stretches its lead with a longer-range laser rangefinder up to 1,800 meters, while the M30T is limited to 1,200 meters. So if image quality and zoom flexibility matter most to you, the M4T has the edge. When it comes to battery life, there are a few key differences between the Matrice 30T and the Matrice 4T. The Matrice 30T runs on two TB30 intelligent flight batteries, and here's the cool part, they're hot swappable. That means you can change the batteries without turning the drone off, 
which really helps when you're in the middle of a task and don't want any downtime. With a flight time of up to 41 minutes, it's pretty solid for most industrial tasks, though the time depends on the payload and weather. Now the Matrice 4T takes a different approach. It uses a single battery, and unlike the 30T, it's not hot swappable. So, when the battery runs low, you'll need to land the drone and power it down before swapping in a new one. That said, it can fly for up to 49 minutes on a single charge, as long as there's no heavy payload. So it's great for longer missions where every extra minute in the air counts. All right, time to look at how these two stack up in terms of price. The DJI Matrice 30T typically costs around $9,900, while the Matrice 4T has a starting price of $7,270. However, pricing can vary based on configurations, bundles, and retailers. In general, the 30T tends to be more expensive, mainly because it's built with industrial use in mind and packs in more advanced features. So, which drone is right for you? Well, it really comes down to what you need it for. The Matrice 4T is better for longer flights and clear, detailed photos. It's a solid choice for mapping, watching over areas, or doing careful inspections. And the Matrice 30T is better if you need something tough. It handles bad weather well and is quick to set up, which is great for things like inspections, rescue work, or checking the environment. Now it depends on what kind of work you're planning to do. So, that's a wrap on today's comparison. Which one would you love to choose? Let us know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.